Do you want to let your Twitch viewers be able to play fun sound effects on stream? Lucky for you, in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use and set up Blurp for your Twitch streams. If that sounds good to you, drop a quick like on the video so other streamers can find this video. And then let's jump into it. So the first thing that we'll need to do is head over to Blurp, which I'll leave linked in the description down below. Now, you might be wondering if you have to be a Twitch affiliate in order to use Blurp. And technically, the answer is no, but I honestly wouldn't really recommend it until you are one. Because if you're a Twitch affiliate, then you'll have access to the channel point options where people can spend their channel points on blurps as well as being able to spend bits on blurps so you can actually make some money. If you're not a Twitch affiliate, then you're not going to have access to the bits or the channel points, which honestly I feel like are the two most used features of blurp. However, if you still want to use blurp, you can still access their walk-on sounds, which will allow viewers to be able to play a sound of their choosing every time you stream. But if you guys aren't a Twitch affiliate yet, I have an entire playlist on how to grow your stream in the top right corner so you can binge watch that and make sure to take advantage of all of the useful features for Blur. But before we jump into that, we got to thank today's sponsor, Own.TV. Own.TV is probably my favorite place to get all of my stream design related stuff. They got emotes, they got alerts, they got overlays, everything you could possibly want with hundreds of different overlay packages like this Enchanted series one. And you can actually go and preview to see what it comes with, like the starting soon, BRB, ending screen, offline, panels for underneath your stream. You got all the graphics, webcam overlays, animated alerts, all that beautiful stuff in one nice little package. So if you you're trying to take your stream to the next level without making it too complicated, then I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can check out own.tv and spice up your stream design. But once we're over on Blurp, let's actually click on set up Blurp on the left hand side. So now we have a couple of choices here. We have discover sounds or get started. It's free. So we're going to choose get started. And now since this video is for Twitch, we're going to click on the Twitch option. But if you're looking for kick or another platform, I have a different video in the top right corner that goes over their new universal extension instead. But we're going to click on the login with Twitch option. So we're going to go and authorize Blurp to our Twitch account. So that way we can use the sound effects. Now, since we've connected our Twitch account to Blurp, you can see that we're brought to the dashboard right here, which will be able to set up our channel points if you're a Twitch affiliate. You can also set up walk-on sounds, which basically will allow your viewers to play a sound effect of their choosing every stream that you do. So it kind of adds a next little layer of interactivity for your viewers. But before we can even get to that stuff, we have to actually set up the blurp sound. So what we're gonna do now is click on this little setup button here. So we'll click set up. Now it says you're three steps away from chat playing blurps on your stream. Well, we'll see about that. So the next step that we gotta do is click on get started. That should bring us to the next page. So now we have two options here. We have the universal extension, which is basically a Chrome extension for your viewers to use, which makes it work for Kick, YouTube, and TikTok Live. But since this video is for Twitch, I'm just gonna keep it easy and just use this because I think it gets a little complicated with the Chrome extension. But like I said, I have an entire video on that, which I'll also leave links in the description if you're interested. We're just gonna focus on this easy peasy part and do just the Twitch extension. So now it says link your streaming accounts. We've already linked our Twitch account, so that's all we need to do because we're keeping this simple. So we're gonna hit next. Now you have two different options on how you want your viewers to be able to actually use their blurp sound. So you have the option of it being a component, which basically a component is they can hover over the screen with their mouse and they'll be able to see the blurp extension and interact through it that way. Or you can have them use the panel. Personally, I I think they recommend the component option, but I prefer the panel option just because I think it's a little bit easier. So personally, I'm gonna choose the panel option, but it's really up to you to decide. So once we've chose which one we wanna use, I'm gonna click on activate extension, which is right beneath it. And so we need to activate that extension. It says activating, which says it successfully activated. So now let's actually click on the view extension page. So we're gonna click that and it brings us to our extension page on Twitch, which is nice. So the cool part now is that it's actually already done all of the hard work for us because if we go back to my extensions up here in the top, it's going to show that we have our blur panel already set up as panel one. So we can confirm that by going to the top right corner and then clicking on channel. And so it'll bring us to our Twitch channel. And if we click on about or chat, it's really up to you. We can scroll down and now see that we have our blurp panel showed here. So this is where your viewers are going to find the blur panel. It's going to be right underneath your stream. So this is where they're going to go to interact and play these different sounds. But let's head over back to Blurp real quick. So once we're back over on Blurp, we can see that we've done everything on this page that it has asked us. So we're gonna click on the next button. So this is the part where you're able to set your bit prices. Now, if you're not a Twitch affiliate, then obviously you don't have access to bits quite yet. But if you are a Twitch affiliate, then you'll be able to set whatever one you want here. But if you're not a Twitch affiliate, that's fine. You can just leave this as the default of 15. 
and we'll go over what you can do later. So you can set whatever amount of bits you deem worthy for your channel, and then we're gonna hit next. Now we have to connect Blurp to our stream. So if you use OBS Studio, we're gonna click this one, Twitch Studio, Streamlabs, Lightstream, etc. So for this video, I'm gonna use OBS Studio, but majority of you guys are gonna be using OBS, and if not, you can click the other ones and follow the instructions there. Pretty sure it's almost exactly the same, so there's not gonna be that many differences in terms of setup process. So since we're using OBS Studio, it would probably be helpful if I opened OBS OBS Studio, so let me do that real quick. All right, I got it open in the background. So now what we need to do is add the browser source to OBS or our streaming software if you're using something else that's not OBS. So what we're gonna do is simply hit this little copy button here. And now we're gonna go into OBS Studio and all we're gonna do is add a new browser source, okay? So now that we're in OBS Studio, I got a blank scene, so there's nothing fancy going on here. We're gonna click add a new source, this little plus button, and then click on browser source. I'm gonna call this blurp and then hit okay, just so I know what it is. And this is where we're going to paste that URL that we just got into OBS Studio. Then once you've done that, we're gonna click on control audio via OBS and then hit okay. So now you'll see that this is our blurp alert box. And then now since we hit that control audio via OBS, Blurp has its own audio mixer bar. So that way, if you wanna control the volume of all the blurps, you can simply just drag and drop this little volume bar here. So I brought up both the blur page and OBS just so you get a better idea of what's actually going on here. But now we're gonna hit this little test audio button. And if we don't hear any audio, that's fine. Don't freak out. I'll show you a fix right after that. So we're gonna click on test audio. Now it should play the sound right over here. Okay, there you go. That played the visual right here. So we have the visual up. And if I click it one more time, I'm gonna hit test audio. We're gonna see the visual and then you see that the blurp sound is actually playing, but I didn't hear it on my end. And that's totally normal, because what you have to do now is click on these three little dots here on the little blurp audio mixer. We're gonna go to advanced audio properties, and then we're gonna find the blurp one right here. It happens to be at the top for me. And we're gonna change the audio monitoring to monitor and output. So that way we're going to monitor on our end because then we'll be able to hear it. And we're also going to output that sound to our viewers so they can also hear it. So once you've set that up correctly, like so, we're gonna hit close. And now we're gonna press the test audio button and we should be able to see it and hear it. Okay, yeah, so that definitely heard on my end. You probably hear it pick up through my microphone. That's okay. And like I said, if you wanna just quickly adjust the volume for everything, you can use this. But later in the video, we'll also be able to adjust the volumes separately in case one's louder than another one. But for right now, I'm just gonna turn it down just a smidge so that way we're not blowing our listeners' eardrums out. So now that we've got Blurp successfully integrated into our streaming software, let's go back to Blurp and show you what else you can do. So now we're gonna simply hit the next button and that should finish up most of the actual setup process. It says we need to moderate Blurp. Next, you'll be able to use our moderated libraries to configure how many sounds are available to your community. All right, cool. So now we're gonna hit next. And basically there's different tier ratings in terms of like how appropriate sounds are for your stream. So we'll be able to customize that in just a moment. It says there's almost a million sounds on Blurp. And if you want to use their little libraries, then you can do this. So if you use the entire Blurp library, viewers can pick between over a mil, pretty close to a million sounds, but they're mostly unrated. So there can be some inappropriate sounds like swearing or other things. But if you wanna keep it more G, PG, 13, and R classifications, you can choose that one. Or if you just want to have, you know, the most controlled and moderated sounds, then you can use this one, which has over 10,000. So that really depends on your streaming environment and what you want to have for your stream. So if you wanna play it safe, pick this one. If you wanna play it mid, probably do this one. Or if you wanna do all three, then, you know, do what you want. I'll probably go for the mid, but it's really up to you. Or if you just wanna handpick sounds, you can choose that option too, but there's a lot of sounds out there. So I'm just gonna pick the first two and then hit next. So now it says customize the curated library controls, which sounds are available to viewers by customizing the curated library settings. They also have a copyright music filter. This will block all content that's tagged with music or potential copyright. So if you want, you could turn that on and make sure that you're safe from copyright. You'd only show popular blurps if you want. It really depends on what you wanna have. But if we go back up, we're going to wanna make sure that we actually have sounds with cursing. You can have mild content or extreme content. You can also change the price depending on what you think is worthy for your stream. But low key, I'm just gonna set this all to mild content because you know I feel like for most streams, that's gonna be okay. But like, if you don't want prank sounds, you can leave it on no content. Or if you don't want jump scares, you can have no content. 
So it really just depends for your stream, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to put mild content for everything, but that's entirely up to you. So now we're gonna hit next after we've chose our settings. And now it says, configure the sounds available to your viewers via the legacy library. So if you want just G rated sounds, PG sounds, PG 13 or R, you can adjust this slider as necessary. I'm gonna go R cause we're a little spicy on our channel. So we're gonna hit next. And then it says special access to the entire library. At any time you can give access to the entire library to viewers, blah, blah, blah. And we can do that from the my viewers tab. You can also grant access to the AI text to speech in the same place. So that's cool. And we're gonna hit finish. Now, once we're done with that, we'll be brought back to the main page of Blurp. Likely you'll be put on the my streams Blurp, but you can also see that we are on the dashboard as well. So if we just quickly go back to my streams Blurp, here, you'll see that we have your streams library is zero. And you might be freaking out, oh, Cody, I'm not gonna have any blurps. I gotta go and manually add all blurps to my stream. That's not actually the case. What you'll need to do is nothing because if we go and actually check out our little Twitch page, then you'll see that there's actually already a ton of blurps already been able to pick from over here. And if they wanted to search for something more specific like SpongeBob, then they'll have all the different options here because we opted into those libraries earlier in this video. So that way you actually don't have to do anything, but if you wanted to go and add specific ones in like groups, that's where you'll go and do it. Also, if you notice when we ran those little test alerts, you'll see that Blurp automatically puts in chat who used what Blurp, which is also a really nice feature. So if you wanted to theoretically add different Blurps to your little stream library group, then you can click on this add sounds to stream. And that way you'll see all of these different options here. You got top Blurps, trending Blurps, so on and so forth. And so you'll be able to play this. And if you like this, then you can click on this little drop down here and you'll be able to either add it as a collection or Twitch channel points or a walk on to assign a viewer a walk on, or you can simply hit this little plus button and it'll add it to your library. So now if we click that little plus button, which we did, and then go back to my streams blurbs, you'll be able to see it's been added to our little library here. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, I know this video is getting a little long, so I'm gonna try and just breeze over everything else since we got the most important part done. But I do wanna mention that at any point you have any questions whatsoever, instead of leaving a comment down below, go to the help and feedback tab in the bottom left corner of Blurp. Here you'll find their Discord server, which you can join and they'll be able to answer your questions much better than I can, including their little support request down at the bottom too. So please take advantage of those instead of asking me stuff in the comments because the team on Blurp will know much better answers than I can since it's their product. But very quickly, we can go breeze over to the dashboard once again, and you'll see that we have the Twitch extension here. So you'll see the different libraries that we have added or turned off. You'll also be able to set up your walk-on. So if you're not a Twitch affiliate, then you can feel free to take advantage of this, but Twitch affiliates can also take advantage of this. You'll simply click on set up and here you'll be able to set the minimum time for a cooldown. By default, it's set at one day, assuming you stream once a day, whatever, it doesn't matter. But if you're not an affiliate, you can just drag this to all viewers. So that way you don't have to be a sub, a tier one sub, tier two, tier three, etc., to set up a walk-on sound. So that way it's available for non-affiliates. So here you'll just simply turn on the walk-on ability. So that way people can actually submit and play the walk-ons. And in order for that to work, we're gonna read this thing right here. So it says, how does walk-on viewer sounds work? Well, viewers have to submit a sound first, and then the streamer will go and approve those submitted sounds, or you can manually add sounds to viewers via search. So what you can do is click on go to my viewers, which is right here. And all that's going to do is just bring you to the my viewers tab here on the left. So what you'll have to do now, when the first time you do this, is you set up the dashboard by clicking on this little button. So you can change this to all viewers, and it should show all viewers that go and submit a walk-on because this tab right here, the My Viewers tab, is where you're going to manually approve those submitted walk-on sounds. And if you're wondering, viewers can submit and play walk-ons from the Twitch extension. So they'll be able to find that in the panel underneath your stream or the component if you chose the component instead of the panel. And then once they submit their walk-on, you'll find it right over here and you can approve it in which they'll be able to use once a day. So you're able to set up Twitch channel points over through the dashboard setup, or you can simply click on Twitch channel points on the left here, giving you must be a Twitch affiliate or partner to use channel points. 
So if that's not the case, you will not be able to set this up. However, I'll show you what it looks like on my main account just so you get an idea. So if you're a Twitch affiliate, this is an example of what it looks like after you set everything up. So if you wanted to add a new Twitch channel point blurp reward, I know this is a mouthful, right? We're gonna click on plus new reward here and then click on reward. And so if we do it this way, you'll just hover over whatever sound you see and it'll show channel points right here. So that means as soon as we hit this plus button on it, it's gonna add it as a channel point reward. So it says successfully added reward. So this one says firmly grasp it. So let's X out of here and then we're going to see it right here. But now this is where we're gonna set the price and everything. So we'll change this to, let's say a thousand. And then if you want to turn it off, you can click this and it'll be disabled. Otherwise you can re-enable it here. And then you can click on these three dots next to it, which is conveniently hidden behind my webcam and then hit edit reward. And then you'll see that you can change the reward title. So this will be firmly grasp it and then the reward volume, so how loud it plays, and then a couple other settings that you can feel free to mess with, including the channel point amounts. So once you have everything set up the way you want it, you can simply hit save and give it a second to save over. And now you can see firmly grasp it, a thousand points. Let's head over to my Twitch channel and see if it actually updated. So if we go to my channel here, which is CPAWS Music, we stream every Monday if you wanna hang out with us, we can go to our channel point section here. And now you can see a new channel point reward for a thousand firmly grasp it has been added. So if someone has a thousand channel points, they can simply click on it and be able to redeem it. Now, unfortunately I don't have a thousand channel points on my alt account, so you're not gonna be able to hear it, but that's how you would set it up. And so there are a couple other features here on Blurp, but just so you know, it does go a little bit more in depth. So I'm just gonna leave it for here. You can feel free to explore more on your own, but make sure to watch this video to the side of me to take your stream to the next level. My name's Cody and I will see you in the next one.